Good morning, chat. Why is my tweet not sending again? Ugh. Twitter, why you gotta be like this? I had a pain in my butt. Alright, I guess I'll go quickly redo that. How y'all doing, chat? Could it be a pain sometimes? Only sometimes. is a place called planetary security now following me on twitter okay <laughs> it's a check mark twitter too which is weird <laughs> how you doing lichen I mean, it seems like a pretty legitimate Twitter, at least, so I'm not too far as that they're following me. It's just weird that some random check mark is going to be following me. <laughs> but, oh well, it is what it is. Irish today. I start my day every day with tea. It's a good way to start the day. Oreo! No! No, you little defiant baby. No, oh, I forgot to take this out to the kitchen. I'll do it later when I go get lunch. 
<laughs> Do I have to keep my eye on you, princess? Do I have to babysit you? You're an old lady. You shouldn't need babysitting. You, on the other hand, Satan, you need babysitting. <laughs> He's just looking at me, too. <laughs> like, he knows. He knows he needs to be babysat. <laughs> There's food in your bowl. Don't look at me like there isn't. Oreo just wants my glass of milk, which she can't have. But she's going to try anyway. You stay there. On the bed. she's back to bird watching nice all right I've got my tea steeping Oreo got some pets Satan is staring at me all right Are you being a pouty boy because Oreo is on the bed and that's where you want to be? Look, there's a box under the desk. You can go in there. And that's where he went. <laughs> this cat. Say, you're such a pouty boy. You big baby. So cute, Satan. Absolute cutie pie. Alright, so weapons today. We got the knot, squiffer, Luna, and the bucket. Not bad. Not something I consider great either, but not bad. Also, I like this map. Oh, Pims. Oreo? No, oh, that's Satan. <gasps> There's a Satan by my feet now. What are you doing, Satan? Where are you going? What you want? warmed up yet to be playing with a bucket. Especially with cats getting in the way. Satan! I think Satan wants something.
without a sign, without grasping yet the real question to be asked. Where have I been? I'm a shapeshifter at pose masquerade, hiding both face and mind. I'll free for you to draw. I'm a shapeshifter. Oh, hi, Satan. Satan? Satan, where are you going? You want to block the screen? All right, Satan. Nothing left to be found. A mirror right in front of me. That's where I find an empty glass reflecting the sad truth. Shit. And words not to be told. I need the mask. I'm a shapeshifter. At post masking rain. That was on me. Satan. Oh, Satan. Oh, Satan. I can't have you on the desk right now. Okay. Please don't take off my mask. My place to hide. I can't tell you how to see me. Just a cage of bones. There's nothing inside. See, there's plenty of space on the bed. You can lay right there. It's on the pillows. You can make a nest. <laughs> yes, morning treats. Tara usually spoils the cats. Ben isn't missing out though. Alright, let this one be a better game. Last one got a little scuffed because there was a cat blocking my view. <laughs> This one should go better.
Okay, Oreo seems to have run off. And that's, that's fine. At least now she won't bother me for the milk I have on the desk. <laughs> Y'all should learn to leave fly fish alone. <laughs> and learn how to dodge their bullets. I don't think it's that difficult. We got plenty of time. I'm not going to bother with that stingray right now. The range on this thing is going to be what messes me up the most. Mostly because I'm not used to it. We're fine.
Mothership Easy Wave. I love Mothership Waves. I don't love Mothership Wave the freelancers that have the, the ray. And they waste it like that. So people's piss poor idea of what an inked wall should be. <laughs> Did you enjoy watching it? No. There's just a point in which you just have to stop and just look at what the uh, others are doing. I almost died. In fact, I probably should have died. Oh, I'm dead. I don't move. Faster. Oh, I saw that coming. I saw that coming. I can tell you this, if you waste your special, this kind of shit tends to happen. I didn't even use mine and neither did Dennis, but all the more reason you should be smart with it.
<sighs> At least it was wave fairy. Work smart, freelancers. You need to work hard. Live bubbles. That's okay guys, y'all don't have to turf the ground. Y'all don't need to move, right? You can just walk, you don't need to swim. At that point, you're just dragging yourself across the ground, which, you know, that, that's got to be painful, actually. Dennis, why? Alright, we got plenty by the basket. Easy peasy. That was not a situation I wanted to be stuck in by myself. Cornered by two bosses, two players down, close to death. That that was not an ideal situation.
I'm gonna save myself there so if I had pushed the button a little bit faster. I would have inkjetted, <laughs> but it probably wouldn't have made a difference. If anybody wants to come play, let me know in chat. I can get a lobby going. If you're on YouTube, you have to sub before you can talk in chat. I have it set this way to avoid bots. Because YouTube bots are weird. They're very unpredictable. Can't blacklist their shit. Freelancers. That's how. Wolfie, how you doing? Not my favorite weapon class. <laughs> mm. 
Alright, one of you, please. Thank you. today too mostly still waking up I should probably get my tea ready after this it's been steeping for like the last 30 minutes <laughs> Like, why? Like, just, just why, Splat Cat? Nope, I'm out of here. good tea. I mean, good honey. Tea, I'm sure, is good, too. <laughs> I really hope that freelancing won't be as bad in Splat 3. I mean, I think the inclusion of egg throwing will just make it that much better. I think it'll change the quality of the player.
Mother ship. Easy peasy. That guy just popped bomb rush already. Okay. A little premature, but okay. Well, that was definitely unnecessary. <laughs> Easy peasy. Easy, easy, easy. Ugh. We're still in the early waves though, the early game, where things tend to be a little easier. <laughs> because my points are equal to pretty much everyone else that's probably playing. <laughs> And therefore the difficulty isn't ramped up yet. <laughs> Thank you. 
I haven't played Animal Crossing since Pokemon Legends came out. <laughs> I've been too busy with things in that game to play Animal Crossing. <laughs> this guy know where they're aiming their bucket. No, my guess is no. What a pain in the ass it is to juggle two, to juggle two. Two grillers that are coming at you from two different directions. I guess not. We have a guy throwing. So, this is going to be a little harder than it needs to be. Holy shit. that Nintendo starts banning players like this. The ones that don't actually do anything to progress the game. Because they're just making things harder for the rest of us. Follow arsenic. And 
Since they might not understand what it means to progress in Salmon Run. No, no, that's the reason. If they don't understand what it means to progress in Salmon Run and they're at the professional level, they should stop playing. Because they're a lost cause. Two of them died seven times in two waves. Probably would have reached nine by wave three, if not double digits. That's way too many times to be dying. fresh and they've played at least 20 games they should have an idea by this point I don't know how many number of games it is exactly like how many wins it is exactly to get from the lowest level to this point but it's 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 a good amount I'm sure someone can figure out the number. But it's unlikely that anyone has won their way straight through. That's probably more than 20. <laughs> I mean, I still kind of say it in regards, regardless of your level, especially in this game. It's just been out long enough. To the point there's really no excuses. That's too long of a message for me to read between things. Some people aren't as skilled, and who knows? Well, the problem is, is not that they aren't as skilled, that they're not willing to learn. Maybe focus on the game, thinking about something more important once again. I 
I mean, this counts as online. If you ask me. You're giving them benefit of the doubt. I don't think they deserve it. <laughs> Playing with your friends will always be easier. And that's also a part of the problem. Because then you're getting carried and you're not learning anything. So as soon as you go to play free freelance, you struggle. Expecting two of my teammates to go down there. Where are, where's okay? Uh, of course, <sighs> that's unfortunate. If you just bought this game within the last two months, I feel bad for you. I don't know why you'd waste your money on this game when Splatoon 3 is literally coming out this year. It's not like your skill in this game is going to carry over. <laughs> Platoon 3 is going to have different mechanics going for it for Salmon Run. That's going to make it a different kind of game to play. Nobody's buying this game for the story. Nobody. <laughs> the story's not that good, if you ask me. Oh, disconnect. Lovely. They should come over here. Besides, the story is also something you can just look up online. It's it's available now. But no one's buying this for the story mode. one job that was to stay alive and what did they do get greedy figures
The general freelancer just doesn't play this game very smart. And it's more of a struggle than it needs to be. I think the game's hand holding this is a problem for it too. I would rather see players with like poor, poor uh, effort in a match not get promoted even if they win then give them a reward for their poor play it's basically a participation trophy that they're getting and that shit don't fly with me No? How you hold your controller is your business. That shouldn't affect how you play. But, like, if you aren't, like, s uh, uh, contributing to the team, why should you gain those points when we win? I also don't think it's fair for those of us actually putting in effort to lose points when we lose in early ways because one player decided they didn't want to play. The point loss should also reflect that. Things like that. It should be relevant, but I'm not sure how they would make that work. Definitely make the game more punishing, though. And honestly, I don't, I don't give a shit if all the babies cry about it. They can cry for all I care. <laughs> Hi, Desi. You don't learn anything by having things handed to you. going great. Correct, there's a reason for the term trial and error. Hello? About how freelancers in this game are insufferable and they're not good and why I think the next game should be harder on the player than it is. Things like that.
Like, what if the the game promoted you based on how many golden eggs you delivered, or how many salmon you've taken out, like the number of power eggs you've collected? Because some players will just naturally have their numbers low. Like me? But that's also because I prioritize staying alive and killing salmon so that everyone else could push. Someone's got to do it. Fuck me. I agree. More games need rankings based on personal performance. Yeah, absolutely. Make it based on personal performance and not collective performance. I couldn't go to deal with those stingers any sooner than I could, which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. If I had the inkjet, it would have made things easier. What? Maybe some personal performance would be great. Mm hmm. Absolutely. But it's absolutely not. And that's what makes parts of this game entirely too suffering. Because the skill gap is too wide. There is absolutely no sense of teamwork in this game. At least not from North American players. <laughs> Which is primarily the only type of player I lobby with. Because it's ping based. This also applies to ranked gameplays as well, which I stopped playing because of the toxicity of the game itself. The way I see it, Desi, I don't think Americans are taught the value of teamwork when they're young. Which is a part of the problem. Yeah, type an exclamation point FC to get my friend code. I'm dead. Yeah. It's not a dog eat dog world out there. We're all just trying to get by. It's not everyone for themselves. It should be everyone for each other. This isn't a battle royale. <laughs> oh, unfortunate. <laughs> nah, I feel like maybe even longer ago. People do need to wise up. I 
I think another issue is, particularly with this game, is the, uh, the scope of people's vision when they're looking at the screen and what's going on in, a, in, in the game. Uh, people tend to only see what's right in front of them. And their awareness is, is short. But if you're playing at the professional level, especially in 400 or higher, which, mind you, is very easy to get to in some of these rotations. Mm, excuse me. You need to be seeing all across the map and being aware of everything that's going on at one time. That's not something you can just do overnight. But you have to start looking at more than just what's around your, your character player. You have to start looking at what your team is doing. And making decisions based on what you're seeing. And you have to make them very quickly. I went to the doctor to my mother. Do not go inside. Knock on the glass or call the outside. Because I'm pretty sure I have COVID. And look how it turned out. Did your mom get COVID or did she just listen? <laughs> she listened. It's good. When it comes to listening in this game, though, there's also players who make bad call-outs. Who's just gonna walk inside. And that makes sense too. Like, that's just a habit we've, we've developed as we get older. And your mom is likely at that age where she's, you know, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, basically. And I get that. But at least she's willing to listen. Some people aren't willing to do that. Did I say add the wrong person? No. More games than personal ranking is became ninety eight yeah. People lack adaptive learning. My experience in competitive Splatoon is what uh, taught me adaptive learning, which I might have actually had m most of my life, but that's where I really came into it. I learned a lot, and I also <laughs> learned that the competitive side of this game is an absolute fucking joke at how unwilling people are to listen to other people. It's an absolute mess. them are spoiled kids or idiots who only think about themselves. That's it's not even just that they're spoiled kids or idiots, is that they are they're just kids who don't think of anyone but themselves because they have no reason to. A lot of kids are very selfish in nature. It's just a kid thing. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. That means I added the wrong person. I'll go and delete that later. 
The thing said I had two frame requests, so I I figure one there would be you would be in there, but no. They would be weird then. No, this is mine. Go get your own. <laughs> My cannon. There's another one on the other side of the map. Go take that. This is mine. <laughs> I will be that player that will sit in the cannon to prevent the freelancers from taking it. All in effort of allowing some of these bosses to get closer to the basket. It works sometimes. There is a time and place for selfishness. This is the place to be selfish. No cannons for them. More often than not, they end up proving that they're, they're not ready for it. <laughs> because they'll kill everything as soon as it spawns in. Instead of letting it get closer to the basket. So, in order to make an effort to make things easier for ourselves, I will take... I will take the cannon. And that's the thing about like childishness is like I'm not saying being selfish is entirely a bad thing because it's totally okay to be selfish. There are times and places for it. That is all. <laughs> you just gotta know the difference. Know when it's okay to be selfish and when you should be selfless. in the front. figures. This is fine now. It's wave three. More emotes and Bria in this way. Like, they need one where they can tell people there are good things here or I'm in danger. Well, I mean, the danger one comes up when you die. <laughs> it turns from this way to help me, I believe. 
something like that. Which is an indication that you are dead. I'm not saying they don't need more communications. They definitely do. But having too many would definitely be a... What buttons would they even be? I guess the entire D-pad. Left and right as well. There needs to be a balance between between that. Because it, it is possible for there to be too many and for too many things to go wrong with it. Uh, I don't particularly mind people being under Profresh. The only thing I will say regarding that is that... If you're not used to the high, higher quota numbers and the faster spawn rates of the salmon, you're going to have a hard time. You could do quick chat. I'm not sure how that would work in this game in particular. Puts up on the D pad and, and the sub menu. I mean, there is a button in, in ranked modes where you can do that, but that would be too many things to keep track of, I feel like. The only thing is it doesn't pop up a sub menu for quick chat, it pops up the map. I feel like that would be too much for the general player to keep track with. Though I wouldn't mind if the ability to open up the map in salmon run not necessarily to jump to people but just to keep track of where things are what's going on and where people are without having to like be at a higher ground like they need to change the word ouch to danger. I think that alone would be sufficient enough. Because the word ouch doesn't really like doesn't really portray that there's a lot of danger going on right now. <laughs> but the trailer showed us that the call-outs are going to be the same, as of now, anyway. In Splatoon 3. Aww. That's cute. Maybe Tara needs one of those for her kitten. Anyone who comes to play with me, if you don't know how to find the Goldie and Goldie Seeking, I will kindly ask that you don't touch anything. <laughs> touch nothing. I will teach you how to find the Goldie <laughs> instead. Because there is, there is a pattern 
There is a pattern to it. That's another one of my issues with this game in particular. Is that the game isn't clear enough on what it wants you to do at times. Welcome back, Tara. I know Grizz is like, look at the light. Go by the light. Don't listen to Grizz. Grizz doesn't work this job. He doesn't know shit about it. I mean, you gotta take into consideration that Grizz is hiring a bunch of teenagers to work this deadly job. Yes, the Inklings are canonically like 14, I believe. 15? They're teenagers. They're not adults. The only adult Inklings that we know of are uh, the music idols and cuddles. Something like that. They were younger in the first game. But they're teenagers, that's the point. Do Google. <laughs> Google has the answer to everything. Almost everything. This little teeth and claws are like needles. Oh yeah, absolutely. That That's something that will never change with a cat. Though kitten claws definitely feel worse because they're tiny. more. 13 seconds. I'm dead. 5, 4, 3, 2, one. <laughs> Third game one. Good job. even in the lower ranks things might be a little harder because like there aren't as many people playing like not as many new people playing I'll tell you this now though, because it's a pretty common low low level strategy. Do not sit on the wall in Goldie Rush or Grillers. Don't do it. You are more useful to your team shooting gun your weapon than you are sitting on a wall.
this guy's in a bad spot. He needs to move. You need to move. Okay. See, this is what happens when you sit on a wall. Don't do that. They could have actually moved from that position to a different one and been fine. But they didn't. I know there are people out there who will probably say, oh, but sitting on the wall is a pro, pro strategy. I'm like, no, 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 it's not. It's absolutely not. It is a novice strategy, and I will be the first one to probably tell you that. <laughs> Any pro player who says it's a pro strategy is a novice. <laughs> Things that work with a team setting don't work in freelance. And people need to realize that. Jumping walls is questionable, but they're still more useful than camping one wall. Right. The only time you should be sitting on a wall is if you need to recover ink or lure things away from everybody else for a certain time. And if you're going to sit on a wall for a short time, let me show you which wall you should be sitting on. Because the most common mistake people make is sitting on the wrong one. And then they make it so they can't move. Mobility is important. <laughs> if you're going to sit on a wall, make it this one, this one, or this one. This one in, in particular. Why? Because if you're here and you have something on the bottom there jumping up at you, you have this ledge to land on. It's that simple. Sammy can't jump up here to get you. They have to go all the way around. But the problem people have is they sit on this wall. And where do they go from here when there's salmon at their feet? Like, where do they go? Or they'll sit on this wall. Same problem. Or this one. Same problem. So what happens... When there's a bunch of salmon at your feet and your teammates are down? You gotta think about these things. Maybe DC. We might lose this one because of me too, but it's fine. I'm not losing this one because of me. <laughs> We're gonna win it because of me. <sighs> that is a pro start. strat. Why are lobbies taking forever to fill up today? Well, it's probably because of the time of day. And like I mentioned, there's not as many people in the lower ranks anymore as there used to be. So you might be struggling with that. There was a golden rotation sort of recently, which is probably where people took the advantage to get themselves carried up in rank. I think the ping base matchmaking is an issue for this game. Especially when instances like that.
In all honesty, though, you you could actually just play a game of Salmon Run completely by yourself. It will lobby you together even if you don't have four people. It'll start the game. Sometimes I wish that I could just play by myself and not have to be subjected to some of these freelancers. And this UB character, this one here, over here, they've died quite a few times in the first two waves. It's entirely plausible they might not have even realized we have a disconnect. And I will stand my ground when it comes to disconnect. When you have a disconnect on your team, you have to play like your three people. You're not allowed to die. Because I promise you, the other two are likely to die. So you have to stay alive. If you can't do that, you're going to have trouble. <laughs> Just like that! Throw a bomb? game probably at least I made it to wave 3 I can consider that a win making it to wave 3 is important you don't lose points if you make it to wave 3 They died six times. That that's a lot. That's a lot. Tip I've got for you guys who play freelance in any level. Prioritize your own life over that of your teammates. Say you're alive, you're by the basket, and your teammate's dead and they're really, really far away. Don't go after them. If they don't want to come to you, their life isn't worth saving. Just stay alive, learn to maneuver around things and make them come to you. Fuck that guy who doesn't want to make the effort of coming to you. Why should you go to them and risk your life when they die? They, they should pay the price. <laughs> I know that might sound, like, mean, but it's just the fact of the matter. You have to... You have to prioritize survival over... The lives of other people in this game. Especially if you already have quota. And sometimes survival means just running around in circles. The more you survive, the better off things will be for you as you progress. Because I promise you, your freelancing teammates, the chances of them dying a lot, pretty good. 
pretty good. So you have to be the one that that survives every time. <laughs> what does Chris even do with these eggs? They're a power source for something. We don't know what he does with them, but they're a power source for something. Maybe we'll find out in the next game. Also, ink the walls. I always say this, but the difference between an actual pro player and a novice is the ability to ink a fucking wall. <laughs> the zapfish. Nah, these are, they're different than the zapfish. They're actually just like power eggs, but they probably have a bit more potency to them. Because the salmon also give us power eggs, and those we already know are our power source. Was that worth it? Yeah, it was worth it. What would you want on a new salmon map in Splat 3? More height. More height advantages. Um, I want less rails because if, if they if they're going to do the same thing they did in this game, which is cause frame drops, I don't want them back. So unless they can somehow address that problem, they can they can keep those to uh, single player. <laughs> but I would love more. Um, more height differences in this game because Splatoon 2 doesn't really have a whole lot of height differences in its map variety. Maybe instead of wide maps and whatnot, they can be tall. I don't know. <laughs> Also, please use your specials, but don't waste them either. <sighs> uh, okay, chat, chat. The best way to utilize your specials is if, uh, if you are using it to save your life, you're better off just taking the L and letting somebody revive you. If you're the last person alive and you're using it to save your life, you're fine. It's, it's safe. But the most common use of specials I see in Salmon Run Freelance 
is people who use them early on to save their life and they end up dying for it anyway. <laughs> Be smart about it. If you can if you can get through an entire three waves without absolutely needing to use your special, you're better off for it. Wait, there's a Crunchyroll app on the Switch now? Holy shit. I can watch my anime on my Switch now! Yay! <laughs> can you watch it for free though, or is it for premium members only? That's the question. Sometimes things like this are restricted to premium members. It should list it somewhere, that information. So use the specials, but don't be stupid about it. Yeah, exactly. Just got announced an hour ago and saw their announcement on Twitter. Uh, okay. I can look at it later. Or you can look at it. <laughs> I'll probably look at it later. <laughs> For what it's worth, Chad, some of you already know, I play a lot of freelance. A lot. And... It is something I both love and hate at the same time. <laughs> but because I play a lot of freelance, I know how to play with freelancers and it's not always easy. It's not always a win. But you, you start to pick out the flaws that people have and the mistakes they make when you, you play enough with it. Play enough of it. And some of the bigger mistakes I see is, it's just, it's just stupid. It's just things that they could easily have survived if they had just thought a little bit more about it. Patience pays off. Be patient. Let things come to you. They will come to you. You don't have to go to your enemy. They're not. It would make no sense for a salmon to lay them and then they'd be a completely different species. Unless it's confirmed somewhere that the zapfish is a type of salmon. Because, like, if that's the case, it'd be a different story. Oh, this wall's not inked anymore. Could have been theft. The orange eggs are the salmon, the golden. Mm. We don't really, we don't know. That's just the thing. There's nothing confirming it one way or the other. But there's not enough evidence, I think, to hold that yet. The only thing we know for sure is that they're a power source for something. We don't know what for what. Uh, Grizz might also eat them too. There could be a bit of both going on here. He he uses them for a power source and eats whatever he doesn't sell. Or he could sell them to somebody like DJ Octavio. Also, if you're going to be dealing with stingers with weapons like buckets, uh, rollers, and chargers, you should definitely be throwing a bomb at its feet first. Throw a bomb at the base of it.
It takes way too long to use a slosher on a on a stinger. Three bombs will kill the stinger. But just two is sufficient enough. As two will bring it down to one pot and then you can just hit it with your weapon. I don't think Grizz is on our side actually. I don't think Grizz is actually a good guy. He runs a shady business. So he's definitely not on the side of the Inklings, and yet we're working this job anyway. <laughs> and we get paid poorly for it. Grizz has no idea how to properly pay his workers. We should unionize. Oh, that might have been my fault, zombie. There we go. I'm dead. Yep. Well, that's probably game. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Being getting to poor is more annoying than I thought it would be with these freelance players. I, I like I said, freelancers don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Even at Pro Fresh 400, they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> All these people be playing with friends and then they get carried and then they don't know what to do when they're thrown into a game with someone they don't know how to play with. Being good in freelance is not easy. <laughs> you have go into every game, Arsenic, assuming everybody's an idiot until they prove to you otherwise. And then you have to play like you're everybody else. You have to be, you just have to be that much better than them. It's a struggle. I wish it wasn't like that, but that's how it is. This is why I think that progression in the game based on individual ability is why it's so important. It's so important. It might, also skill-based matchmaking. Can we have that too? That would be nice. That would be really nice. Because <laughs> the problem I have with ProFresh is that I could be lobbying with a bunch of people who are 400 or higher. Or I could be lobbying with people who just got to ProFresh yesterday. And you, you can't tell me that someone who's just gotten to it knows exactly the ins and outs of how it works. Like someone who's been playing it for, for months. It's not the same. It's absolutely not the same. That's where skill-based matchmaking comes into play. This game doesn't really have skill-based matchmaking. Even in ranked modes. Because I think even in ranked you can get carried up and it's stupid. Freelancers sometimes make it harder to win than it needs to be.
Man, I've had that game. I've played that game before. What is my team doing? Oh, they're dead. Great. <laughs> I've been there. We've all been there. Ah. I think everyone is stupid. No, I'm not stupid. An idiot. There's a difference. <laughs> You have to assume they don't know what they're doing until they tell you otherwise. And that can be a little hard to tell sometimes based on how they play. I mean, you can, but it's local only. And it's not very good. That's a poor use of a stingray, which is kind of unfortunate. If you're just using your special to take out one salmon, it's a poor use of a special. You should definitely try to take out two or three. And if you're gonna die, like if you know that you're going to die, make your death worth something. Take something down with you. Just be smart about it. I've made some pretty stupid deaths in my day. I still do. <laughs> I'm not a perfect player. I've just been playing longer. <laughs> That's all. Like, if you can actually revive your team without needing to waste your special to do it, you're all the better for it. But again, it, it's... You just gotta play smart. Oh, we have a DC. Also, specials can be used to replenish your ink.
Yeah, a lot of DCs today. That's another thing I wish they'd fix with this game is the disconnect rate. There's way too many. I am learning things I did not think I would need to learn. <laughs> At least you're willing to learn. But most freelancers just they don't they aren't willing to learn. <laughs> they don't learn. They don't learn from their mistakes. The game's too handholdy to encourage that kind of behavior. This is another reason why I want Splat 3 to be harsher on the player. Let's stretch, stretch the hands. Don't forget to stretch your hands, Chad, if you're playing games or working at a computer or things of that nature. Stretch your hands. Bombs are going to be tricky. We got new off-brand, but still work joy cons for Christmas. And for some reason, the right trigger isn't as sensitive as the other. You can remap it. <laughs> you can remap it. Remap it to the L button. In the in the settings, like the switch settings. The L button isn't used in this game, except in Clam Blitz to throw clams, but you also can just use the A button for that. You can relearn it. I remapped my uh, going into the ink button to the R button because my ZR, ZL doesn't work. Not R button, the L button. My god, I know my left from my right. I say I do, but I really don't. <laughs> I've been playing since Splatoon 1. So, relearning not to press ZL instead of L was a little bit difficult, but after a few games, I got used to it. I've also remapped my Booyah. Kapuya, this way to the tap of the L stick instead of a uh, D pad. We're not winning this one. That was unfortunate. I couldn't do anything about that. I tried. Couldn't do anything about that. They all kept dying, which is unfortunate. All right, let me let me close this real quick, and I'll quickly show you what my button mapping looks like. I have it specifically for this game. I might need to move. Oh, no, no I don't have to move me. <laughs> this is what it looks like. My ZL button now calls forth the Booyah. Because I, I don't need it as much. It, I can't. It, it's kind of not working as much as it should. But my, R, my L button works just fine. Um, my D-pad is breaking, so I have those buttons not utilizing literally anything for this game now. <laughs> so, I also mapped this way to the L-stick so that I can continue shooting and moving while saying this way without having to go put my thumb on a different button altogether. Uh... Like I mentioned before, there are some buttons in this game that aren't utilized for anything, so you could easily just remap things around for that. And that's what I did.
It takes a little bit of practice, but once you get the hang of it, it should be okay. Like, I had to break out of my own muscle memory, too. But if I can do it, you can do it. You just gotta be willing to put your mind to it. The one thing I would recommend to any player to do is to remap your callouts to a different button altogether. It makes it so much easier. Also, if anybody happens to find devil horns with tenacity on them, please let me know. I doubt they exist, but... Need that stretch more than I thought I did. <laughs> yeah, my hands feel a little bit better now that I've stretched them a little bit. I should probably do a little bit more. Um... You could stretch in between each game. Between hitting the yes here and before the game actually begins starting. Hell, even like when it says ready to go. Like between that point and the game actually starts, which is a 10 seconds in, it's approximately 30 seconds. That's all you really need for your hands. A lot of people think that wonders are going through an autistic person's head, like, learning how to play Splatoon 2, Salmon Run better, and what does Grizz do with the golden eggs? I mean, people think that even when they're not autistic, though. Like, that's pretty common... ...lines of thought for people who play this game. Oh, I guess I'm not seeing the humor. I have a dark sense of humor. I enjoy dark humor. Who's got the blaster? Go deal with that singer before I have to go do it. <sighs> if you have a weird sense of humor, that's totally fine. It just might be a while before I get used to it. That's all. <laughs> no, being racist and having a dark sense of humor are completely different. Racist jokes are not a dark sense of humor. Oh, I'm last. I'm running. Bye. Bye 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 team. Enjoy your enjoy your floaties. Dark sense of humor tends to make fun of things like death, not race. <laughs> See, that's exactly it. Death. <laughs> Nah, those people aren't actually into dark humor, though. <laughs> That's not the same. They're just, they're just idiots. They don't know what, the, what, what it actually is. Like, I've been playing this game, um, Danganronpa, who is very ripe with dark humor, especially Monokuma. And... There's, there's, a, some classic examples I could probably think of. 
Like one that they had yesterday as I was playing it was, it's not so much as dark. Well, I guess it could qualify as dark humor, but the, the thing that Mono Taro said was dying is overrated. You should just live for fuck's sake. Although, not, they didn't say for fuck's sake, but like, you should just live. Living is all the rage. <laughs> and, you know, because die, like, it's a killing game game. So, it's it's ripe with dark humor. It's going to be making fun of things like that. So my comment to it was like, yeah, death is overrated. You should just live for fuck's sake. Things like that. It's it's just it's absolutely dark humor <laughs> about death. You know, kids are really good at jumping high into the air. Some are still around up there to this day. <laughs> I wish there was the emo kids that are good at jumping high in the air. Not the stoners. I guess they are probably one and the same. But you could be a stoner and not be emo. This is all I'm getting at. <laughs> How many emo kids does it take? to change a light bulb. Doesn't matter, they all sit in the dark and cry. That, that's me. Me. I sit in the dark and I cry sometimes. I don't get enough sunlight. <laughs> uh, we got stingrays. Oh, pro tip for, for this, for, for, for fog. Don't touch the goldies. Let them come to the basket. Alright, who's got the fucking inkjet? Because all I'm doing right now is just jumping over lasers and... And just surviving. I'm not doing much of anything. <laughs> I guess you could argue that my staying alive is important, so... Most people are idiots who think dark humor, you mean skin color jokes, right? Yeah, yeah, they're absolutely idiots. People who don't know what true dark humor is and say that kind of shit like Desi suggested aren't the kind of people you want to be around. How do you make an orphan's hands bleed? Make him clap till it's oh. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> that ain't right. <sighs> but most of the dark humor that I enjoy associates itself with death. That's usually what they're making fun of. <laughs> is death. <laughs> <sighs> and the entertainment that I like to consume things that involve psychological things murder, death and dark arts are some of my most favorite things <laughs> it's, just, it's very entertaining to me the more brutal the better <laughs> Yeah, it's the most common. Yeah, it is the most common. It's it's what I like. I like a good murder mystery. Thrillers. I like witches. I like the occult.
<laughs> That's terrible. That ain't right either. <laughs> Yet I'm laughing at it. Grief counselor died. It was so good. I don't even care. Wow. <laughs> oh, God. Holy shit, Chet. Clip it. <laughs> I know I'm muted. I'm muted on purpose. How did you alive? How did I alive indeed? <laughs> So history repeats. Oh. Man wakes from a coma. Oh, wait, a man goes to a restaurant. How do you prepare your chicken? Waiter, nothing special. We just... And tell them they're going to die. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's... <laughs> Man walk, wakes from a coma. His wife changes out of her black clothes and irritated remarks. I really cannot depend on you in anything, can I? Oh my god. See, now you're just giving me puns, and I refuse to acknowledge those. <laughs> no, that that's like, you could still say them, but if I refuse to acknowledge it, consider it a good one. <laughs> and puns are pain. I make pun jokes a lot, too. You can ask Tara. She never gets them, but when I have to explain it, she just gives me this look, I'm sure. I don't even see her face because, like, the long distance thing. But I just, I just know. I just know. Digging in our garden, found the chest full of gold coins. Wanted to run straight home. Tell my wife about it. Hold on. Then I remembered why I was digging in our garden. Oh. 
Where is... Oh, That was an unfortunate game that we didn't win it. Despite my game saving play in the first wave. <laughs> Let's eat grandma. Let's eat grandma. Proof that proper punctuation saves lives. Right? Learn your grammar, kids. Imagine the salmon. They do. They actually already do. Have you never died at the at the edge of a map? And had like a car spit on circles on you? <laughs> That's absolutely what they're doing. <laughs> the salmon can't go into their ink. So they can't, they have to do it a different way. I mean, whatever it is that they're spewing isn't ink anyway. I don't think it's ink. I think it's something else entirely. It's different. It might be vomit, actually. <laughs> I hate when the scrappers do that. I love hate it. Like, they're such assholes. <laughs> slime. Yeah, it could be slime. But it's definitely not ink. Not in the same way that the uh, inklings uh, use ink. And when I say inklings, I'm encompassing the octolings too, because technically they're also inklings. Because they also spew ink. They're cuttlefish. If it was ink, it would not, it would mix, not lay. Well, I mean, even in this game, um, the colors don't mix, they layer. They layer. So. No, that's because I don't have a lobby open. I'm just playing freelance. That's why. I'll open up a lobby after this game. rather join a freelance lobby instead of hosting if I'm playing strictly freelance because you run into the chances of people who are playing together instead of all three people being um, random entirely it's just a personal preference Nah, your switch ain't broken. If anything, it would be your internet that'd be broken, but you're fine. say this sir i have yet to leave this channel unsatisfied with the time i spent here you're attentive to chat and like some others and not afraid to speak your opinion oh no i'm definitely not afraid to speak my opinion uh, <laughs> i see no point in like trying to hide that information i i feel like i'm an open book with about a lot of things about me about what i like what i expect of people and what I expect of people is simply just be a decent human being. If you're any less than that, we might have some, we might have some questions. Where we might have to talk. And honestly, being a decent human being 
it's not that hard. <laughs> it's not that hard. Which is one reason why I like coming here, even if I don't play Splatoon. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend this game anymore to anyone. Wait for the next game. Took my took my cannon. All right, I'm gonna steal it back. <laughs> uh, never mind. I'm just I'm just gonna go over here. Deal with that. Good. We live in. Here, eel. <laughs> I'm for the game, stay for the streamer. That's how it should be. That's absolutely how it should be. Because I don't always play this game. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm playing Dongan Rompa as well, which I've been doing every Wednesday. And when Salmon Run isn't available for the entire duration of my stream uh, hours, which is 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, then I will be playing a different game called Super Animal Royale. Which is fun. It's, it, it's a Battle Royale style game. Hello? That, that bomb was clearly in the circle. <laughs> Hi, Danny. How you doing? Been a minute. Have you heard of the Poke One? Fan game? No, I don't really keep up with Pokemon fan games. Mostly because my machine can't play them anyway, so... How the problems would work? Well, tell them to get their shit together. <laughs> I know that ain't gonna work, but... <laughs> Do what you gotta do. For a new job. <laughs> on PC and Android. Yeah, see, I don't have a PC. <laughs> and I don't play phones on my Android device. I use a Mac, and that thing doesn't play games very much. I don't really like playing games on it. There's only, like, so many that it can actually support, and it's just, it's not worth it. By the way, Sarah, I wanted to ask... Oh, that was the thing you wanted to ask me, I guess. <laughs> By the way, chat, my name is Sarah. You can call me Sarah or you can call me Satan. I will answer to either one. If you're ever curious about why they're using a different name with me other than Satan. And it's S-A-T-Y-N as I have it spelled in the game. It used to be spelled with an A, but I have a cat now who goes by the name of Satan, so to differentiate the two of us, I changed my name spelling. <sighs> this here is Mr. Satan. He's a good boy. <laughs> he deserves all the attention and all the praise. 
So when around here and we say praise Satan, this is who we're praising. This guy, this little boy. He's a good boy. And he deserves absolutely all of it. <laughs> back over there now. Mr. Satan is a good boy. He is absolutely a good boy. Now, as far as my attentiveness to chat, I do my best. <laughs> it's not always easy, but I do my best. It's one thing I try to be is attentive to what's going on in chat. Because I know there are a lot of people out there who don't pay attention to their chats. Even smaller content creators like myself. Who just don't pay attention to it. But your chat is your community. And therefore, if you're not paying attention to them, they're just going to leave. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It's as simple as that. <laughs> They're just going to leave. Like, there's some sense situations where it's fine to kind of, like, take your time. But, like, you, you have to pay attention to what's going on. Just watch Blue Exorcist and the idea that the most powerful demon is a cat and has had children that everyone wants to destroy is funny. <laughs> That is hilarious. I haven't seen Blue De uh, Blue Exorcist. But I am an avid anime fan. I love anime. I love animation. It is my favorite medium. If anyone's ever looking for something to, to check out, I am the person to ask. Also, please don't camp eggs that are far from the basket. Uh, it's usually a bad idea. Saying this way once is fine, but like, there are people out there, and I'm sure you probably have seen them, who will just sit on those eggs until someone comes to get them. It's usually not a good idea. I will... I am one of those players who will just completely ignore that. <laughs> no, you guys deal with that steel eel. I'm gonna go deal with this stinger. Singers are bad. Didn't mean to activate my special. I hear that a lot too. It's fine. Accidents happen. Who's that mall on? You. Oh, okay, that's fine.
Oof, couldn't do anything there. Shit. Oh, that could have gone better. Yeah, I need to I need to get used to how you play too. That that's something I need to adjust to. And adjust my way of playing according to it. More often than not, I tend to I tend to what's the word? I tend to play it kind of like mindlessly without really thinking too much about it. I just kind of do. If you need sleep, you should definitely sleep. Sleep is good for you. Any new updates with Splatoon 3? We have a, if, did you watch the direct that happened? Like, what was it, last week? Week ago? Two weeks ago? Uh, I think it was last week. It feels like it was last week. Um, but yeah. In Splatoon 3, you can throw the eggs. <laughs> There's a lot of quality of life changes coming to Salmon Run that are exciting. Yeah, I'll be buying it. I mean, Salmon Run's my make or break. And they're bringing it back, so. I'm probably never going to play ranked games again. Because I'm not going to need to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, get some sleep. Sleep is important for you. Like, I would rather you guys go sleep than be here. Like, I appreciate the support, but take care of yourselves first. <laughs> You can always leave a lurk if you have the capability of doing so. If you're going to lurk, muting the videos won't keep you in as a viewer. You should always mute your tabs instead. Or just turn off the sound on your computer. Or mobile devices. <laughs> Actually, I don't know how it applies to mobile devices. Sleep is good. I am an advocate for sleep. I also advocate crying. It's totally okay to cry. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise.
that was a game. And good cry can be good for your health. Absolutely. Crying is a great way to relieve stress. So don't hold it in. Let it out. If you don't want anyone to see you cry, that's fine. You can do so in private. But like, don't let anyone tell you that you shouldn't cry over something. If you're stressed out and you need to cry, you fucking cry. If someone hurts your feelings and you need to cry to relieve that that pain, then you fucking cry. Just just do it. It's fine. No one's gonna judge you around here. And if they do, <laughs> we'll tell them to fuck off. Because chances are they're not somebody we want around here. <laughs> Yes, get some sleep. Sleep is important. If I could find like a job that would pay me to sleep, I'd probably take it. Like it'd have to be like the evening hours because of my stream schedule. <laughs> You don't have to type in chat when you're in the middle of the game. In fact, it's not recommended at all. <laughs> just, just wait until after the game is done. Because if you're typing in chat, your hands aren't on the controller. It's best to just wait. Like, if you're dead, that's one thing, but still. You need to do your best not to die. <laughs> That's very important. <laughs> oh, ten deaths. Oh, that guy had ten deaths. Oh, 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 the pain. Oh, it hurts. Oh. Learning how to stay alive in this game takes practice though so you might end up dying a lot as you learn what you can and can't do and that's fine <laughs> that's totally fine you just have to understand that why it is that you might have died and then learn not to do that Four hours is not enough sleep. <laughs> uh, I struggle when I get that much sleep. <sighs> I'm done my tea. was in high school three to five hours was enough sleep but as an adult it's not even even back then it wasn't enough for me but that's pretty much what I got even my college life was similar and I'm not proud of the fact that I got used to working on no sleep it's not not something I would recommend doing uh, we should probably force the others to let things get closer to the basket by the way because if we don't, we might we might not win this. And that means sitting in your cannon and not killing anything <laughs> until it's close enough. Unless it's like a stingray, those things need to be taken out right away. Fuck those things.
feel like uh, high school life also didn't really leave a whole lot of room for rest. Especially with how much homework schools would give you. Remember that saying that I think one of our teachers said, Danny, was for every hour of, like, for every, like, hour of class you should get like 30 minutes of homework and it's like something of that essence and it's like no If you're in school for eight hours, that's what, three and a half hours of homework? And like most people don't get home from their classes until five in the evening. And then it's like, then you've got to have dinner, you got to bathe. There's like absolutely no time for, for you. It's bullshit. <laughs> It's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. Homework ain't it, chat. Down with homework. There needs to be a better way of learning things in this country. <laughs> in this world. <sighs> And not everybody's good at studying. I know I wasn't. I'm not a stu I'm not a studier. Sometimes I wonder how I even got through school. Because school just encourages memorization and not actually learning. Do your thing. Be quick. Oh, God. Ugh. Oh, we good. We living. Oh, nope. Can't deal with that. Going over here. having multiple tests on the same day having to remember all of it yeah yeah I didn't care for that either <laughs> I, I distinctly remember learning a certain kind of math one way in our chemistry classes and it was the easier way for me to do it and I wasn't allowed to do it that way in my math class they told me I had to do it a different way the way that they taught me and I'm just like no! No! <laughs> no! Like, it was bullshit, even to me back then! It's bullshit now! It was bullshit then! Like, no! No! Constantly fail classes for all but my last year in middle school and high school. Somehow I made it through being Canadian French classes. French class tests were annoying. Were you required to take French classes in Canada? Uh, here in in my school, we had the option of um, no, okay, <laughs> we had the option of two languages at my high school. The method does not matter. No, if you get the same result, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It absolutely doesn't. But my teachers insisted that we do it their way and not any other way despite the fact that we got to the same result it didn't matter 40 minutes a day 
Yeah, I think classes were about 40 minutes here to each class. Like, um, our school schedule was like, what, 8 to 3? Sometimes 9 to 3, depends on the school. Uh, we were required to take a language, but we got to choose between Spanish and French. That's what our school offered. There are other options here, uh, depending on where you're at. But that was, uh, at the time, that was what was offered. If you were a freshman in the honors course, you were required to take a Latin class. Which, my teacher ended up leaving halfway through the year, so I learned shit of Latin. <laughs> this was like a hundred, two hundred years ago too, chat. Just, just bear in mind, this was like a, a long time ago. I'm like a few thousand years old. <laughs> I am ancient. And please don't mention your ages in chat, just, just, just fair warning. Tara will delete your messages immediately if you do. It's a safety measure, don't talk about your age. This goes for like... <laughs> Dang, you're even more ancient than me. remember don't touch anything if you don't know how to find the goldie <laughs> I'm as old as time damn Ugh. I hate having seeking with a blaster though because it's it's finicky Nope. Help with the goldie though. Just don't open the geysers if you don't know how to find it. This might be scuffed. Mm, no, I think we can still do it. Go! Go! Okay, we got lucky. <laughs> got extremely lucky. Oh, I was still playing like it was a blaster for this way. Low tide. Maul, come over here. Alright, good enough.
All right, easy peasy. Now to just sit back. Easy peasy. <laughs> oh yeah, I have no more tea. Yeah, well improvement with like anything, it should always be a slow, a slow process. Just gotta be critical of your gameplays and be aware of what's going on around you. No more tea for today. I'll be having more tea tomorrow. I drink one glass of tea every day. Just to get my day started. A little bit of caffeine. <laughs> Only times where I might have two cups nowadays is if uh, anxiety is really, really bothering me. In which case, I will have a cup of uh, chamomile tea to help just ease myself down. Just to calm myself down. What was the most annoying thing a teacher did that immediately pissed you off? example I gave was actually the only one because for the most part oh wait there was a teacher that kept taking my teacup every morning <laughs> they weren't even my teacher <laughs> they kept taking my tea because apparently I wasn't allowed to have it and it pissed me off and they wouldn't give me the cup back My friends had to steal it back for me. Stupid. After a while, I just stopped drinking it on the way to school, or I just finished it and put the, the mug in my locker. As quickly as I could. But yeah, it was just stupid. I didn't have any really good art teachers in my high school career. The only one that I did that was good that I still have lessons from to today 
nobody else liked. They all hated him. I was the only one that liked him. And for what it's worth, I'm an artist, so... <laughs> That's probably why I liked him. I can't even remember his name. But the guy taught me color theory, and I still use that to this day. <laughs> you might remember who it is, Danny, if you can't remember the name. But there was a... You might remember the vague details of it. But there was only one art teacher that I liked. Yeah. Chat, Danny and I went to the same high school. Yo, Ray! Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Alright, I need to stop shouting. I'm gonna lower my game volume a little bit so I can monitor my voice a bit. Yeah, we went to the same high school like hundreds of years ago. Felt like a different time. I mean, it kind of was a different time. Things have changed a lot since those days. I am a much better person than I was back then. <laughs> I was a stupid teenager. <laughs> Dog water. <laughs> Same teacher also said that patriarchy was not real too. Oh, ooh. Ugh. it totally is though. <laughs> it's totally real. <laughs> well, my kitten is asleep again, but this time he has his face using. Oh my god. Why are kittens so cute? I guess you're stuck there for a while. Might as well take a nap with the kitten. Mothership? Mothership. Alright, I have right. I'm not using it. Where did the phrase dog water even come from? The only players I see using that terminology are Fortnite players. But it's used to like insult, by the way, if you aren't aware of the use of the word phrase. It's used as an insult. It's, an, it's an equivalent to saying someone's trash. So if someone calls you dog water, that's. That's what they're saying. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> when you create content, you gotta keep up with what the kids are saying. <laughs> so you know the context of it, if you ever hear it. It's so weird though. It's a very weird dialogue. Fuck off. Damn chum. Why do you gotta go this way? Go into the house, please.
the other side. <sighs> Might be scuffed. Nope. Yep, it's a scuff game. It's on the other side. This is why freelance goldie seeking is hell. It's the worst because people be like, I'm gonna pop open this geyser. And then they open the one next to it regardless of what the height is. They see that it's short and they still open the next one. Goldie will never be next to a small geyser. It will never be next to a small one. Never, never, ever, ever. Yeah, it's the geyser height. The, the taller, the better. That's why you open the furthest ones from the basket first. It, it tells you more information, but most freelancers aren't aware of that. They'll just open them willy nilly. It sucks. The game doesn't tell you this though. The game tells you to look for the uh, the goldy color, the, the, the shine. There is no shine until you pop open the, the, the thing. It's much easier to just see if the geyser is tall or short. The game doesn't tell you these things. It's so dumb. <laughs> Most players aren't that perceptive. And even if you know what to do, the freelancers don't. And therefore it just gets stupid hard. Harder than it needs to be. Don't go that way. Don't don't listen to that this way. <laughs> Have fun in Dark Souls. Take down that pretentious Sullivan. Four more people are dying. We're good. <sighs> Another good tip to know is that three bombs will kill Quite a few of the salmon bosses, actually. You just gotta be able to time it right. The most useful boss that it's for is for this, the, uh, the stingray, as you shouldn't really use bombs to kill anything else that doesn't require you to use a bomb.
You would just be surprised at what a good bomb throw could do. Nope, I'm just gonna hang out over here. Flyfish are the least of my concerns, personally. I know they're a big problem for some people. The heck was that, Eric? I did nothing! <laughs> Venom. Mm. Right, we need six more. Are you on mobile? If so, that's why. The screen's not black unless you're on mobile. There's something I can do about that. You might have to reset your device. No, that was a question directed at somebody else in chat. The black screen is a mobile Twitch problem and I don't really know how to fix it. If refreshing the uh, the app doesn't do it, then I don't really know what to tell you. It's, it's a mobile Twitch problem. Need to stop risking things. Um, risking things is fine. If you know what it is you're risking and you, you weigh it out. I, I take risks too. Hello, Jaren. Sometimes the risks pay off. You just you'll you'll get better at it as you play. It's like I mentioned earlier. Sometimes it's better to leave your teammates dead and come back for them later because your life is more important. Yeah. If refreshing doesn't help it though. I don't know. It's definitely a Twitch problem. A mobile problem. I get it too when I'm watching on mobile, my mobile device. 
Which is not very often, but it, it does happen. Need to get out of here. Oh. <laughs> you join your phone, that's the only time you see the problem. Yeah, it doesn't happen on um desktop. Twitch. It only happens on mobile Twitch. In the app. It is what it is. It could be a bug from Twitch itself that they have yet to work out. But. Usually a quick refresh fixes it because it might just be that you need to clear out some cache data. And refreshing things can do that. Yeah, Ma, come over here. Oh, another thing that's good to know, too, is about the fly fish. Nope, nope. If you take out only one of their cannons, then the one that stays up will only target the person closest to them. I'll steal my cannon. It's mine. So if you ever see a fly fish, with just one bucket up. Chances are I did that. <laughs> I left it that way on purpose. <laughs> this is a part of why fly fish are the least of my worries <laughs> because I know how to get them away from me. <laughs> Also, I will intentionally sit in a place where they might target me too, to keep them off everyone else from time to time, depending on the map. Chad, how y'all doing today? Hope you're doing well. If you're playing games like I am, make sure you stretch your hands. Also stay hydrated. Take care of yourselves. Get into a habit of stretching your hands even, even when you're younger. Especially when you're younger. Get into that habit now. It helps with combating things like arthritis and carpal tunnel. We're not winning this one, but I should have definitely died to that mall, but I didn't. Okay. 
Suffering at work. Oh no, no suffering. <sighs> Not focused at all on some matches. Uh, maybe it's the lack of sleep. It does actually catch up to you after a while. Now for fresh, nice. <laughs> oh, that explains it. I went up in 20 points. <laughs> I haven't been paying that much attention to to score. like this and every summer I think it's also oh you should definitely eat if you're hungry that can help with focus too eating you don't have to ink that wall by the way That one's one of the least used ones. I mean, unless you tend to use it a lot. The only one that really matters is this one. <laughs> I personally don't like swimming up walls on this map because of this lip here. That that in that that slant on the on the edge. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. It's a terrible, terrible design. How many times are you swimming up the wall and you get knocked back a little bit because of it? It's stupid. Have it just got it. There we go. I like high tide. Things get more chaotic. Well, that was easy.
don't think I collected any eggs this round. I left it to you guys. <laughs> That's fine. Alright, no touching the goldies. They have to come to the basket. He's hoping that the freelancers don't kill them right away. We got a goldie coming in. the goldie it's pretty weak Yes, go eat. Eating is important. I'm gonna go back to freelance for now and I'll open up a lobby again in a bit I guess if there's interest Are you just waiting for me to get out of this cannon? Yes, you are. Asshole. Gotta get out of there at some point. Fuck this guy.
That guy's probably also mad at me, but uh, they can stay mad. <sighs> I got to the cannon first, and the fact that they just sat there and waited is bullshit. They should not have done that. That that's their problem. They should have went and collected eggs. Or went to the other cannon. But no. Instead, they decided to be a big baby about it. And I'm stubborn. I don't deny that. I'm stubborn. My cannon. I don't share well with others. <laughs> And I'd much rather that one, too, than the other one. The reason I don't like when freelancers take the cannons is because they... They just kill everything as soon as it comes in. They don't give anything a chance to, to get close to the basket, and... I just, I don't like that. They don't play smart. So... You kind of have to force them... A little bit. And sometimes that means taking control of certain things. Why are they all down there? Like, come back here, please. Let things come over here. The less you have to travel to collect your golden eggs, the better off it'll be for you. Water is not a meal. You need water, but it's not a meal. You should eat something, too. Okay. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, stay hydrated too. That was just really quick. People like this why are these freelancers like this why do they just run off to their deaths the way that they do all right we have five minutes until rotation rotation you mean going to turf war? No, rotation at 3 o'clock means that the maps are going to change. I, I don't play turf. <laughs> turf is incredibly boring. And I don't like switching games in the middle of a stream unless I have no other options. It's too much of a hassle because I'm streaming on three different platforms to go in and change the game for all of them. 
Valentina, look alive! Well, they're dead because they're just standing there. And an eel just. That came in sooner than I expected it to. That was on me. Yeah, yeah, that was quick. I mean, we had an idle player in the beginning, and they absolutely weren't doing us any favors by being idle, and it was just a rough game. That, I would not call that a good game. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's okay to admit when something wasn't a good game, you know. It's totally okay to admit that. Don't tell somebody that something was good when it actually wasn't. <laughs> Be honest. A good game is a game where we had fun, not that we won and got good things and all that. Well, that definitely wasn't a good game, because that was not a fun game. <laughs> Also, I'm not interested in the idea of giving praise to people that don't deserve it. Like, saying that it was a good game gives praise to the people who were idling in the beginning of that game. And it's like, nah, nah, if you're gonna do that shit, just stop playing. You don't deserve my praise. <laughs> People don't like that I have this train of thought. They get kind of mad at me for it, but it's like I'm not gonna sit here and tell you it was a good game when it wasn't. Just not gonna do that. I am honest to a fault.
Mm, make it aim that a little higher. That didn't exactly do us any favors. <laughs> they save the other one. Do it. Oh. They did it. They did the thing. something cooking. what it is though. It's not very appealing. <laughs> It's always a great game when your team doesn't really die all that much and you can rely on them. It's always nice. Mm -hmm. Exactly as, as I said it would. It happens every odd hour <laughs> right now. That's going to change at DST though every even hour. Uh, I forget when DST is, but it's sometime in March, I think. It's soon, though. It's soon. I'll be here for another two hours. And then, uh, then I'm done for today. But I'll be back tomorrow playing Super Animal Royale. Uh, Super Animal Royale, like I mentioned before, is a Battle Royale style game. It is free to play. It's pretty casual. You don't have to be that good to really, like, get around in it. Like, just need a few few games to get the hang of it. But once you get the hang of it, it's, it's a pretty easy game to play.
stinger I saw? No. No. Yo, Bucket, you wanna get revived? Bring your ass over here. Thank you. Link person seems to like dying. <laughs> and it's fine. They're just making similar mistakes and rushing out somewhere with something they probably should be more patient with. But it is what it is. Was close. Those stingers needed to go down. And the bucket is not the ideal weapon to do it. <laughs> Chat, should I play more Salmon Run on Saturday night? Even though it's like the worst map of all time. Mariner's Bay. Bay is fine when you have others to play it with, but in Freelance it is absolutely the worst. Map's too big for its own good. And people like not luring.
<laughs> Bomb rush can actually be used to extend the game just a little bit longer in event of everyone dying including yourself if you have bombs on the map the game won't end immediately until all the bombs have exploded so in that short amount of time there is a slight chance that somebody could get revived and continue the game if you didn't know that now you do <laughs> that's not what happened in that last round because i knew i was going to survive i used the bomb rush to kill everything around me and halt the car from getting closer i kept it in place <laughs> but that's that's a thing that happens if you didn't know bombs are absolutely very useful Yeah, I saw that. That was part of the reason why I didn't continue going forward. And I bomb rushed where I did to bring you back and increase our chances of winning by having more people surviving. Because I knew if I had just left that area things might not have panned out in our favor. <laughs> Bella, can you? Okay, Bella. I'm out of ink. Ugh. Bella, Bella, Bella. If you throw a bomb at the base of a stinger and then you go in with your, your tap shots, you can kill it faster. Even just one bomb makes it easier for a charger. Sometimes you have to deal with the lessers first before you can go in and deal with the stinger. The stinger won't target you if you're the closest one to it, unless you're the last one alive. So you could use that to your advantage. Sometimes you have to sacrifice your teammates. <laughs>
Easy peasy. No, Bella, no! Might be a scuff game because of that. Nope. Goldie, no! Wrong way! Welcome back. Scuff game, yay. Ugh. I really, really wish that they would make Goldie seeking more apparent about what you have to do in the next game because this one just doesn't do it. And th the fact that even at the pro fresh level, there are numerous amounts of freelancers who don't know how to find it and therefore make it that much harder it's just it's just ridiculous it's absolutely absurd how many there are it is very rare for me to find a freelancer that knows what they're doing with goldie seeking it is the worst map the worst mode when playing freelance That one was not. No, it wasn't. Bella rushed to pop a pipe. Turned to get her to not. Yeah, you can't. You just. You can't. They don't have any understanding or communication <laughs> in this game. You kind of just have to assume that they're going to do what they will. And they do. Almost every time. At this point, Arsenic, if someone's going to let themselves get killed for something stupid, let them die. Leave them dead. Sometimes players are better off to you dead than they are alive. Like, don't don't waste your effort on a player who isn't going to give you any favors or any or isn't going to help you in any given round. I've been there. I've left people for dead. If they don't want to actually put some work into, you know, getting quota and being smart about it. Honestly, they're better off in their floaty. Because at least that at that point, they can't hurt us. This guy says they're human. I don't believe them. your shots that's unfortunate but it's okay i've been there splatlings can be kind of hard to aim to be honest i kind of only hit that that steelhead twice with the hope that you would hit your shots and it would die otherwise i would have totally went for the third shot <laughs> but it's okay it's not like it was a a win or lose situation.
to remember that this splatling in particular, you can hold your charge in the ink. Got an idle player. Disconnect already, please? Or come back? I'll take either one. I'm glad that our idle player came back when they did. Because if they hadn't, things could have gone downhill from there. <laughs> I say it. He went to go eat. Sometimes when he wakes up from his naps, he just gives me this look of excitement. Like he hasn't seen me in forever. Even though it's only been a, a short time. <laughs> I love this cat. He's a great cat. He's my baby.
Oh. Hotcakes over here didn't adjust their name. They haven't fixed it. <laughs> if they're trying to like write out the word hotcakes or hotcake in Japanese, that's not how you spell it. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I tried. I tried. I should have known better, but I tried. That was intense. <laughs> Quite a few times I made the decision to go deal with stingers only for people to end up dying. So immediately as soon as I made that decision, I had to cancel that decision and turn around and go back. <laughs> but it's okay. I don't really mind making these kinds of quick decisions. As long as it doesn't require me to come all the way back once I've already reached the stinger. Which usually results in a loss if it isn't near the end of the wave and we have, don't have quota. 
because sometimes when you're just committed to something you can't just stop <laughs> <sighs> That's why survival is important. And that if players die too much, it, it should absolutely come out of their pay. <laughs> if, if you die, like, in double digits consistently, I think there's a problem. <laughs> like, once in a while is fine, because everyone has their bad games. But if it's like every other game for you, maybe, maybe you should learn how to survive a little better. Make less mistakes. Things like that. This game is not that hard and it's actually pretty easy to survive. You just need to be vigilant and aware of where things are, what they're doing. And if you're going to die, do your best to make your death worth something. This guy's name is Bad Rando, but I don't think they're a bad rando. In fact, they seem to be making decent decisions. <laughs> I hope they adjust the, the ranking in Salmon Run 3, 2, Splatoon 3, Salmon Run 2 would be the second iteration of Salmon Run, so that I could get HLM games more frequently, <laughs> even in freelance. That would be nice. But that would also really require a skill-based matchmaking setup, because I also wouldn't want to subject the typical freelancer to that kind of game. Speaking of invaders. Hi Bandit! Bandit, I can't see chat. I also kind of can't see the screen because your tail is in the way. Little too close. <laughs> this invader NPC in Dark Souls 3 just fell to his death trying to attack me. <laughs> It's turn to be on the stream. He's the one playing right now, obviously. Not me. Totally not me. He's playing. Never mind the fact that he plays exactly like I do. 
that that's just not what's happening. <laughs> Bandit's too good at this game. That's why he doesn't play too much. Because then it would be too... He would carry too many people up in rank. That's why he doesn't play. He's just he's just too good. He doesn't want to put so much imbalance. to pro exactly <laughs> is this what you want bandit here you go I'm gonna give one to Satan too here you go <laughs> yeah, Bandit, you can have the crumbs. Let me move my phone so you have a little bit more space to just sit. Bandit, how are you so good at the game? He's a cat, that's why. Everyone's too distracted by the fact that he's a cat. Because he's so cute. He's very good at stealing hearts. Bandit. Even when they can't see him. They just, they just know. <laughs> Welp. <laughs> Time to build those cookies back up. He's a good bandit. He's a very good bandit. Bandit knows that if he sits on the desk that you guys will spoil him. Like Tara did. He knows. He's no fool. <laughs> Usually after he gets a few, he'll run off. Got a stinger. Make that two. Haha, <laughs> did I say two? Shit. You should try doing that in chat again sometime to see if it works yet. Though using the store is also fine. Whichever way works for you is totally fine. 
<laughs> See, Bandit got two treats. Are you done now being up here, Bandit? <laughs> now he's gone. Every time. Every time. Bandit, you're predictable. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't changed it. It's exclamation point redeem followed by the redemption. If you want to ever find out like what it is, just type in exclamation point spoils and it'll tell you. Oh, hey, it worked. Yay. Now Satan can have two more. <laughs> Scuffed game? Scuffed game? Maybe? No, we can still bring this back. Nah, scuffed. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh no, Bandit's still here. I can give him an extra one too. Alright, one. Oh, I just dropped it somewhere. Did I just throw it back in the container? I think I might have. Two. That was an unfortunate game. Here you go. Another one for you. Bandit! Here you go. Three treats for the boys. Spoiled happy babies. wave was that? Was that wave two or three? We are our one player who only killed about less than 200 points worth of things was not doing us any favors. Gotta go after this one? Okay. Okay, yeah. They should have killed a good few bit more than they did. It's unfortunate. Sometimes players like that force me to play a certain way, and usually that doesn't equate to winning. <laughs> if I have to babysit you, we have a problem. <laughs> so I ain't getting paid to babysit. Oh god, that was too close! <laughs> Way too close! Ugh. Gotta be faster than that. Uh oh. Well that explains a lot. 
We have a DC. Not today, Stinger. I'm out of here. Bye. please fuck okay over here walls inked just remember use your charge get a full charge it does more damage Also, specials are really good here. Oh, yep. Yep, that went about as... That went about way the way I expected it to. <laughs> oh, the struggle. That disconnect really, really hurt us. Alright. It's okay though. Goldie Rush is kind of a pain in the butt. Are you done for today? Okay. I wonder if we, uh, if the inkjet was what we lost that game. Because inkjet is absolutely more important to have 
when you have a disconnect because you can you can survive a lot easier with it than the other specials. Hello, coconut. Uh oh. Oh no, you DC'd. Unfortunate. this one yeah no unfortunate you don't have to worry about your typos type in exclamation point FC to get my friend code what does resetting rank it resets you back to 40 I don't recommend doing that <laughs> Did you get penalized for that disconnect? No bonus? I mean, if you lose early on enough, you only gain like a few points. Like, you, you gain points, like bonus points, the stuff down here, regardless of whether you win or lose. It's just that the amount of which you get varies based on how long the game goes. Anyway, to get my friend code, type in exclamation point FC in the chat. This applies to all three chats. Slow. That's weird. Okay, you got a three minute timeout. Yeah, that's not surprising. That kind of thing tends to happen. It's unfortunate, but it, it, it's, it's... The timeout system that they have is absolutely fair. I believe three minutes might be the minimum. It's not that long, fortunately, but it's it's totally fair. Things like that stack, and if it, it's to combat against people who intentionally leave games. They exist. They're the worst, but they exist. <laughs>
Three minutes should be more than enough time for me to get through this one freelance game. And then you should be able to come back. Assuming we get through all three waves. <laughs> Unfortunately, the game decided to give me the easiest weapon for me to play in wave one, but that's okay. <sighs> I actually really much prefer to get my best weapons in wave three, so that I know that they're in good hands. <laughs> just like completely ignored this other stinger like entirely Okie dokie, arsenic. Thanks for playing. We'll see you again next time. Or whenever it is we see you again. <laughs> you yeah, have a good rest of your day. two at that are dead. this game I need to like BRB real quick. I shouldn't be long.
Okay, enjoy your food. We somehow won this game. So I felt like it was a bit scuffed. So once again, if anybody else wants to come play, you have to type exclamation point FC in the chat to get my friend code. This applies to Twitch, YouTube, and Trovo. But if you don't do the thing, can't help you. <laughs> you gotta do the thing. Alright, I'll be right back, chat. I won't be long. Just a minute or two, hopefully. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Off to freelance hell again. This is fine. Oh, another another forewarning for anyone who wants to come play. If you are not at the pro fresh level and you want to come join my lobbies, just be warned that things might be very difficult for you. Due to the fact that my my higher point level is going to increase the quota and therefore increase the rate at which the salmon spawns. So if you're not used to that, like it's fine to get yourself up to this point on your own to get used to it slower instead of just jumping right in. Thank you, Danny. Like, it's okay if you're a lesser skilled player because everybody was at that point at some point or another. 
But it's better not to throw yourself into the hardest difficulty right away without knowing how, like, what to expect. It's best to wean yourself into it. Instead. Because if you throw yourself into... Into it right away, like... And then you end up losing a lot. It could be attributed... To... You just, you're just not used to it. And that's fine. So everybody's gotta start somewhere. Coming up here, Oreo. Come on. Oh, I hate it when you use those claws. Come on, over here. Come on. She did scratch my leg a little bit, but it's fine. It's something I can't deal with. It's not bleeding profusely. <laughs> so it's fine. I'll put a band-aid on it uh, after this wave. Oh, I might need to do it a little sooner. How you doing? We're gonna praise Oreo for cutting my leg. Got it. Why are we not doing anything? Oh god. Alright. Scuffed game? Maybe. Not impossible, though. <laughs> we praise cause cat. You're just a human. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> you are absolutely not wrong. I need to get more band-aids. Uh, I'm almost out. <laughs> I also need better band-aids than the ones that I have. These ones are not good. <laughs> they get the job done for these minor cuts that Oreo does sometimes, but they're just they're not they're not good. <laughs> Alright, I'll give Oreo two and I'll give Satan one. Actually, you know what? I'll give them all to Oreo since Satan got three a little while ago. Here you go, Oreo. I changed my mind, so I'll go into Oreo. To Her Highness. I'm gonna move my keyboard so she doesn't accidentally sit on it. 
I don't want you sitting on the keyboard. She smells the cat treats on my hand. Now she's looking at my hand. She's so cute. Oreo, everyone loves you. It's true, they do. <laughs> You're not playing tonight? All right, cool. That's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm traveling, don't have my switch. Ah, safe travels. I miss traveling. I used to do quite a bit of it when I was uh, younger. On Saturday? Okay. Yeah, I'll probably be playing on Saturday too, even though it's kind of a hellish rotation. <laughs> Mariner's Bay is in rotation on Saturday, by the way. It doesn't matter what the weapons are, it's Mariner's Bay, therefore it's hellish when you play freelance. But I should be okay after the first couple of hours, as I usually have someone to come play with me on Saturday evenings. As you know, Mr. Lycan will likely come join me. And then anyone else is welcome as well. This rotation is kind of a uh, meh. But only because it has two uh, charging type weapons. And you know how I feel about freelancers with chargers. <laughs> I arrived the afternoon. If I'm not a corpse, I can stop by when you're on. Ah. Well, I'll be around at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Until whatever I'm done for the night. I'll have to double check what the hours are for the next rotation, but I believe this one currently ends tomorrow at 1 p.m. So the next one should start tomorrow night at 7? Or 1 a.m.? One of them. Either way, tomorrow night I'm playing Danganronpa and getting through the third trial. <laughs> so I won't be playing Samurai Run again until Saturday. Don't feel like you need to be around either though. Getting your rest is more important. One random weapon. Oh, is there a random weapon this weekend? Yeah, that's true. I thought that was next week for some reason. I think the Brella is the one in rotation this weekend, then? And then the next one after that, whenever that is, it's the, 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 the blaster? Lasers. Ah, 
yeah. I would have much preferred the charger or the bucket, personally. But... It's fine. When it comes to freelancing, though, I much prefer the other two because they're basically uh, baby's first Grisco weapon. <laughs> they're just easier for freelancers to play. Slashers, not for freelancers. Give them. Yeah, exactly. Even the charger I wouldn't want in a freelancer's hand because of how much ink it consumes. But it's still better than the bucket. Okay, that happened. We're not winning this one, are we? <laughs> this is not happening. That disconnect cost us. Slasher, no, no. I read that already. <laughs> Little Oreo. Give the freelancers automatic weapons. Anything that is semi-automatic or requires you to have a charge. Uh-uh. Don't go and give it to them. <laughs> Just give them the automatic shooters. Or rollers. Rollers are fine, too. <laughs> It is listed here. Okay, so the next rotation has the splash, the mini, uh, uh, rapid blaster, and the random weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Not on rush, though. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. The dynamo rotation, there were quite a few people with the the roller who just weren't standing still in front of the basket <laughs> with it and it's just why This guy be like, this way! But they don't even know where to find the Goldie! <laughs> so no! Not this way! <laughs> oh 
Yeah. I mean, at the same time, having the others helping you out helps immensely with that. Like, if everybody's firing at the damn thing while you're squishing it, it's very satisfying. It's not just you by yourself. Also, it requires people not to have opened like a million different geysers and summoning the legion of salmon because that just makes it harder for you to do your job as a dynamo so it's harder to do in freelance just because of that i've had a few runs the other day with the dynamo and it was goldie seeking and I had to prioritize clearing the map instead of you know squishing the goldie because no one else was going to do it and <laughs> we absolutely needed it done unfortunate but you know it is what it is you gotta do what you gotta do to win <laughs> frustrating but it's not unexpected <laughs> it'd be more frustrating going in expecting people to be better than they are <laughs> and then you end up losing because you expected too much of them but it is what it is. Yep, that's that's how you do it. Assume everybody's an idiot until they prove otherwise. Open too many. Yeah, we definitely did. That's unfortunate. Hi, Satan. Good boy. <laughs> I don't like very much that in order to succeed in a solo based game in this game you have to carry instead of you know expecting your teammates to do their job Play their role. This also applies to solo queue and ranked as well. It's so fucking stupid. Like, why? Why do you have to be carried to win? Like, no, just do your damn job. <laughs> People don't work smart. They just don't. They don't play smart. Makes things harder than it needs to be.
think it was unfortunate for us that we got seeking twice that round. That's just unlucky. Especially in freelance. Just unlucky. Fizzle free, what the hell? <laughs> Why are you dead already? Dead again. And dead again. rounds <laughs> of course you did <laughs> somehow that doesn't surprise me Let me go look at mine. Uh, did I play before Sunday? Oh, I definitely played before Sunday. Or after Sunday, not before Sunday. It might have been Monday. Sunday might have been Monday's rotation. I'll have to look at it in a sec. I know I played on Monday. And I haven't played since. I should probably pay attention. <laughs> bye bye Oreo My percentage is probably not, not 50-50. <laughs> My golden eggs that were collected that round were 2,710 and I collected 599 of them. That's how many I collected. So it's not quite 48%, <laughs> but I also don't play like a greedy kind of gameplay. I actually just expect the freelancers to be that way. A quarter or so. So it's about, yeah, what it should be. I mean, if I really wanted to, I probably could play greedy. Welcome back, Arsenic. I just choose not to. <laughs> it's 
Salmon Run maps, uh, they change with the Salmon Run rotation. The maps don't change until the next uh, shift schedule. The Salmon Run map stays the same until the shift is over. So the next time the map changes won't be until tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern. But rotation in the game itself happens every two hours. So turf and ranked and league all have their maps swap out. Salmon Run doesn't do that. Maybe they could do it in the next uh, next game. Where the map will swap between one or two. The only reason they don't swap it here is because there's too few of them. Too few maps. <clears throat> but next game has potential to have more maps. So maybe... How about this rotation? Oh, my stats are even less as far as golden eggs collected. <laughs> but like I said, I'm not really going after it. As far as power eggs collected, it's 90,000 to my 21,000, so... I think that's where my my stats will be a little buffed because I tend to try and kill things so that everyone else can do their job better. That's that's what I like to do. How many shifts did I play to? I played 48 shifts on that rotation. Saturday night's rotation was rough. Last week, it was rough. over a quarter. It seems like we have roughly the same when it comes to at least the slaughtering. There's a slight difference, but it's 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 a little closer than the golden egg collection. You can inflate that even more by using your special. Your special definitely inflates your egg count. <laughs>
Okay. It's a shame it doesn't mention how many times people have died and how many you've personally rescued. It just tells you how many were rescued. And it's probably your own individual number. Like how many times you rescued people. <sighs> that number being really, really high is not a good thing. unfortunate. Right, any specific events? Yeah, it does. Or certain position. Oh, I'm dead. Ten seconds, four more, three. That's unfortunate. That, that was just unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I'm only good for another 15 minutes though. Last stat line, 2.3 average rounds, 30. golden eggs, 2.8 rescues, and 0.8 rescued. Okay. My average waves cleared for last round was 2. 12.5 uh, golden eggs. Uh, 2.4 rescues. And 0.9 rescued. <laughs> We have very similar stats, except for the gold egg collection. <laughs> we already know. I'm not a gold collector. <laughs> I'd rather enable the other player's uh, greed instead. <laughs> Welcome back, Tara. should have not done that. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> yeah, but hearing the satisfying click of a gold egg delivered makes me want to get them all. <laughs> then you can get them all. <laughs> it's all yours. For me, it's the satisfying kill, the satisfying sound of getting the kill that I like. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> for pushing me to save rounds. Oh god. Oh, that's I oh, oh fuck. <laughs> might be scuffed. Yeah, no, it's definitely not looking good. Nah, definitely not looking good. <laughs> What it's worth, um, arsenic is newly pro fresh, and that's fine. They might not be used to some of these higher numbers. Like it's fine. It's totally fine. You you have to you have to play a little to get used to it. Plus, the freelancers, <laughs> they're not ideal. It is what it is. Ain't no problem and nothing wrong with being new to a, a, a rank two and not being used to it yet. Like, you have to play it to get used to it anyway. Also, we gotta play it with the what tag in their name. This might go bad. I have yet to run into somebody with that tag who actually is good, so... No. No, this weapon set is not that user-friendly. Definitely not. So despite that, they're not doing terrible. Get off the wall for fuck's sake. Please don't be like that. Don't sit on a wall and think that you're being useful. Because you're not. This isn't the wall to sit on either, by the way. We had this discussion earlier. There's a time and place for wall sitting, and it's not that one. Yeah, grillers are pretty easy once you get used to that. You have to pay attention to who they're on, too. Save 
say, this is what happens if you sit on a wall and aren't helping your team. Like, if that's all you're doing, you are a detriment to the team. That wasn't on you, Arsenic. That was absolutely not on you. <laughs> you did all you could, given that it was literally three players versus everything else. Because one player just wasn't doing us any favors. No! No, you don't stay on the wall. Even if you're being targeted, you have to use your weapon. You are... More beneficial to the team using your weapon than you are sitting there doing nothing. It's a balance. The wall exists to recover your ink and to lure things away when necessary to push eggs. But if that's the entire thing you're doing, the entire time they're targeting you, the salmon will jump up and, and whack you with their spoons or frying pans. They will jump up at you. So you, you shouldn't stay there. Our one player was just sitting on this wall, this one right here. This is not a good wall to sit on. And they weren't helping us. They weren't doing us any favors. But that's all they did. Whenever they were targeted. Instead of, you know, just standing right here. If you stand here, Salmon can only come at you from the front. So it's easy to deal with them by just staying right here. Like, there, there's rhyme and reason to why I play the way I do, and why I absolutely love this map. This is where I'll basically be the entire game, is right here in this corner. And I'll be alternating with this, this spot, this wall, a lot. Because it gives me an advantage. I'm missing like all of my shots. have the ink jet either I do <sighs> oh that was unfortunate it dominoed the death dominoed <laughs> all right I think we have time for one more game before rotation let's make it a win
Uh, nighttime rounds are not very common. I don't really know what the percentage is of them, to be honest. But they only start appearing at, at a certain rank. You don't run into them until you get to that rank. But like, daytime waves are definitely more common. I don't know what the percentage is. There might be something on somewhere that gives you the odds, but nighttime waves are kind of not common. And there's what? One of four? Depending on the, the, the tide? That can spawn? Probably. But it's not like it's some high number. It's not like a 50-50. It's probably more like 20-80. Uh, 20 being the nighttime wave. And then of those nighttime waves, you get one of five, I think. It's one of four or five, depending on the high of the tide. Yeah, and then in um, low tide, you get the Koha. So, six in low tide. But there's also, no, it's actually still five. There's no rush in low tide. Rush is only high in normal. So rush in the, the the, uh, the Kohawk wave can be uh, interchanged. I guess the Kohawk rush is what it is. No seeking. No seeking, yeah. No seeking either. That's why I like low tide. <laughs> Nighttime waves better. Wow, that just pulled you right in. Nice. Not nice. These two kept dying pretty, pretty quickly, making things a little harder than it needed to be. Did you notice that? They kept running out to the chokes and dying for it instead of playing more patient. That's really just unfortunate.
they weren't with us like at all that that wave it was rough <laughs> sometimes a, a win or loss can really come down to how far your freelancers like to play from the basket and if they never come too close to the basket then it's just a lost cause but it is what it is it's five o'clock I am going to stop here for today I'll be back tomorrow afternoon at 11 a.m. Eastern Time to play some Super Animal Royale. So until then, thank you guys for watching, thanks for hanging out, thanks for playing, and I will see y'all next time.